the biggest series in the country in college baseball. It is the third-ranked Texas A&M Aggies getting ready to host. So like we said, it begins with R.J. Austin, but high averages up and down. Center field and waiting on it is Jace Laviolette, one out. Got him looking. Three pitches to strike out the turn and struck out 12. Went outside, swing and a miss by Alan Espinal. And it's in this lineup, Grohovac, Lavulette, and Montgomery. We were talking earlier, that might be three future. That is a well-earned walk. So an equipment check for Espinal, and now it's Jake. Center field and deep. At the track, looking up, and that's off. If you're the Aggies, you literally could not ask for a better start. Just an incredible attack. Now he's gone to right field. Slow moving train out there. By Launch is his 18th homer of the year. I just told you it doesn't get any easier. I think Montgomery may be the best of the three. He backs up Lobby Let's home run with a hand on that ball. 106 miles per hour off the bat. Walked the game off in the bottom of the ninth. And he's one hopped this at Jaden Davis. Extended the production in this lineup. Well, he's hit line drives, it feels like, all season long. And they are really starting. It's that breaking ball. Went back to it, and that's how he got his outs in the first inning. He struck out Camarillo. Corbin was the head coach. Schlossnagel was his assistant coach. Ryan Prager dealing. Vanderbilt took the series from the LSU Tigers, and he's going to center field here. Coming in, Jay Slavulette, and two down. Had him as their opening day starter. And he has another strikeout. They weren't worried about him coming off injury. Started him on field. That is very high, and the Commodore is going to have to communicate and wait on this one taking over. Cunningham faces Travis Chestnut, the Aggies' second baseman. Chestnut with speed. Bounces that through the left side. Back healthy again, and Gavin Grahovac zips that through the left side. Back-to-back -back base hits. Check swing, and Laviolette went around, so you have a full count. It's gone opposite field to left. Braden Holcomb moving toward the gap. He'll make the grab. Super regional play. <laughs> He's just past the midway point. Center field, back at the track, looking up. Two homers tonight, 19 on the year. I'm telling you guys, this is a special. Doesn't bend out of the zone. It stays elevated. Braden stays on it. Aggies are rolling 6 0. Trick as of late. And he's going toward the gap in right center. He stays hot. Base hit. He'd like to be at second with two outs, but he's going to have to stop it. Davis Diaz will go to second base to Jaden Davis. But it got the job done. What a swing and a miss. And Ryan Prager talk a lot about this A&M offense. Swing and a miss by Calvin Ewitt. It's borderline getting ridiculous. Went to the slider, struck him out, and uh, all you can say is wow right now. Game and they engage in a memorable game three. Hayden shot just keeps ringing him out. Base hit to right field. Snake bit by the Aggies late in that super regional. Chance at a double play. They'll turn it. Ali Camarillo bounces into the double. Skied to right, coming in, Matthew Polk. 
And he'll get there, makes the catch on the run. Jace Laviolette coming on and making the diving grab. In the outfield. Foul territory. Burton trips over Jackson Appel, but makes the grab. Cross, three up, three down again. That time, no strikeouts for Ryan Krager. He gets a great diving catch from Travis Chestnut. Watch him just run. teed off on a pitch. That went off the top of the wall and center. Well, he can run, but he showed some power. That best nuts two for two. It's another elevated offset. Converging on the warning track was Holcomb and Hewitt, and Holcomb will take it. Deep ball, fly out. Base no matter what. The, the, really the only. At third base. Holcomb will make the catch. Laviolette drives in Chestnut and ups the. Again, you love to see that if you're Texas A&M. It's efficient off. Holcomb comes in to make the grab. Battle in the inning. The Aggies tack on one more. They take a 7-0 lead into the fifth. Something for the Commodores. But that's the fourth time they have flown out to Jace Laviolette in center field. Prager, if he's not getting the strikeout, he gets a line to get it out of the glove. Could not make the transition. Threw it into the dirt, but not in time to get Jaden Davis. Oh, base hit Davis Diaz. Really the second hard hit ball of the game for Vanderbilt. It's their second hit of could be in play, and it is. Overrunning it just a bit was Ted Burton, but he came back to grab it. Villet, but he's got wheels. He can run, and he will get there and make it look rather easy. Vanderbilt strands a couple. Still, they have not. Jackson Appel has been ripping the baseball as of late. He's gone down the line and right to start the fifth with a double. In the first inning, a &M was absolutely hammering the fastball ever since. Back, that just missed section 12, but it got over the wall. The Aggies have left the yard again. Way 100 miles an hour off the bat, 365 feet, just sneaks it over the right field wall. Last time, he will throw out Hayden Schott. Yeah, you know, it feels a little unfair for both AM and for Vanderbilt, to be honest. The Aggies keep ringing out base hits. That's the 12th one of the night. Ali Camarillo goes opposite field. Camarillo is heading to third. They're at the corners for the Aggies. And we talked about Caden Sorrell earlier tonight. And Holcomb might have a play here. Waits on it. Here comes Camarillo, the play now is cut off. Thought it might have been close, but the throw was cut off. A or, or a stand-up double to be efficient offense, and, and Chestnut certainly. MLB veteran. Yeah, he sure does. He looks like he could go play linebacker across the street from Mike Elko. <laughs> Here comes. On to the track, giving it a look. And he got out of here. Chase Laviolette, couple of home runs tonight. And for Laviolette, it's number 16 on the season. Bubbles in the air and the route. Now, rung up. But the Aggies ring out six in the inning, two home runs in the inning. Up the middle for a base hit. A rare leadoff runner on base against Ryan Prager. I believe that's only the eighth time this year. He's Eighth strikeout for Ryan Prager. It's another change up here, another awesome. Montgomery will wait on it, and they'll make the catch off the bat of Jack Bolger. Ninth strikeout tonight, so it is 72 strikeouts on the year. Center field. Easy catch made out there by Calvin Hewitt. Jackson Appel, two for four. Hard around first base, all the way to second. Throw got away. He's going to try for three. There'll be no throw at third. A double and an error on the left fielder. Nice job fielding. He will throw out Hayden Schott, but Schott productive, and he brings home Ted Burton. 
That's the third time. All that is is mature offense. That's mature hitting right there. That's not. He's heading to second base, trying to turn this into a double, and he's there. That's all out hustle by the. At this point, the egg. Two outs and a runner on third. Rips one to right center, and Camarillo can trot home. Caden. Season. Having trouble finding it. They didn't find it and then finally found it with Braden Holcomb in left field. But it's a fifth. They heard you. Yep. Don't be surprised. You saw it to end this inning, and you can see it here sitting in our booth, Will. Free onto the track, backpedaling, and he'll make the grab. Braden Montgomery makes the catch. He's going to try to get the double play, but not all that close at first base as Polk is back. A&M and out away from finish. Prager strikes out 10. He was brilliant. And A&M run rules and shuts out Vanderbilt. The final Aggies. I, I, I mean, I don't think it gets much more dominant than that. I mean, offense, defense, flashing the leather. Jay Slaviulet in center.